What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna quickly show you how to create recurring bills in QuickBooks Online. This won't take long, so let's get started. Okay, so to create recurring bills, all we're gonna do is go up here to the gear at the top right, and under list, we're gonna go right here where it says recurring transactions. Now I'm gonna click on this green button that says new, and I'm gonna select my transaction type. So if I click on this drop down, you're gonna see that there are a ton of different things that you can create. But for this example, we're gonna do a recurring bill. So from here, I'm gonna name my bill. Now you have to decide what type you would like to do. Would it be something that's scheduled? So you're basically asking if QuickBooks is automatically going to create this. Do you want a reminder to create the bill? Or do you want something that's unscheduled? So I'm gonna do it scheduled and I'm just gonna do it zero days in advance. And we're gonna select our vendor now. Below here, we're gonna select the interval. So is it gonna be daily, weekly, monthly, or annually? You could decide what day, or maybe it's like the first Monday of every month. So you choose based on whatever your specific needs are. And then you're gonna select your start date for this. Then I'm gonna select my end date. My end date can be by a specific date or it could be by a number of occurrences. So perhaps this is a contract that I have for three months, so I only have it for three occurrences. And then from here, you're gonna select the terms that you have with the vendor for when this bill is due. Now you're gonna select the category. So whatever the category would be, you could put your description in here as well and then you're gonna put the amount. Here under billable, you can check this off if this is something that you can bill to somebody else, um, if it's something that's taxed. Uh, so we're gonna just leave it there because if this was billable, I would select what uh, client I would bill it to. But for this example, it's not gonna be billable. This is the total for our bill. If you had any type of attachments, maybe an agreement, you can include it here. In the memo, you can include something like an account number or any information that you think is helpful. So now I'm gonna hit save. So now that that's all taken care of, I wanna show you what would happen and why this is convenient. So if I go to bank transactions and I had that bill created, this is the spend and if it matches the charge, then QuickBooks is automatically gonna try to match it. And so if it is correct, you would hit match and your bill's already recorded and you don't have to think about it. And that's how we create recurring bills in QuickBooks Online. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao.